welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and I am the crochet designer slash business strategist here behind a crafty concept. In today's video, we are going to start a year long series where I help you sell your crocheted things based on which month it is out of the year. So today is, you guessed it, January. We're gonna be talking about how to sell your things through January, how to show up on social media through January, how to talk to your ideal customer based on things that are seasonally appropriate and front of mind for them for the month of January. And we will be doing this every month this year. So get excited, hit that subscribe button so you know when a new video goes live, go ahead and turn on those bell notifications so you get an actual notification when a new video goes live. If you haven't already, go ahead and download the 2023 content calendar. This is the tool I will be using in every one of these videos to help you guys plan your content and show up on social media and send out emails, all the things. You can find this for free at acraftyconcept.com forward slash content calendar. I will put a link in the description below. Or if you are a pen and paper kind of gal like me, you can get a printed copy of this through my Amazon shop. I will also link that below for you as well. I have a full video tutorial walkthrough of this planner already to show you how to use the printed version. So I will put a card to that video somewhere up there too if you want to check it out. So let's hop on over to my table so you can see what I see and get started going through January 2023. Okay friends, let's dive right in and start talking about how we're going to show up in January. So we are just going to flip through here to get to January. January is at the beginning, but if you need to use the table of contents, it is right here. So we are going to page 18. There we go. Boom. You could also, if you wanted to, make little tags for these to help you get to each month. That might be fun. You might do that and then like film it and make a little tutorial because that might be a fun thing. And then you could just flip right to the month that you're looking for. Anywho, let's start talking about how we're going to show up in our crochet businesses for the month of January. We're going to start on this sheet, then we're going to hit this sheet, then we're going to hit this sheet. So stay tuned for all kinds of good things. This sheet, I will also be talking about how to show up on social media, giving you some social media ideas. So definitely stay tuned for that. Also, if you are watching this and you have the printed version like myself, remember you can get to the digital version of each page by scan the QR code just in the camera app and you open it, it will take you to the digital version of this exact page and then you can click on any of the resources that I talk about in this video. So keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and zoom in here and start looking at the left hand side of our page, our January page. It says January, new year, new you. Folks are all about fresh starts and new beginnings in January. This is when people are focusing on their mental health, physical health, goal setting and organization. So just like you, your ideal customer is gonna try to start her year off on a fresh, new, clean, organized start. She's gonna be trying to eat healthier. She's gonna be trying to create some sort of systems like workout systems or cleaning systems that's gonna help her year run more smooth. She's gonna set goals for herself. She is gonna set goals for her family, for her children. She's gonna be creating things like checklists, things like that. So put yourself in the, in the shoes of your ideal customer and think about what it is that she is doing to get organized and prepared for the year because each ideal customer's person is gonna be different. If your ideal customer are college kids, they're gonna be thinking about their dorm room and their backpack that they're gonna use and what they're gonna to use to take their dirty laundry back and forth to their house. So put yourself in the shoes of your ideal customer and brainstorm things that you think she is going to be focusing on for new year, new you season. Then we have some content ideas. How can you and your business or products help folks focus on self-care, organizing different spaces in their home, eating healthy, working out, New Year's resolutions, cold weather wearables. So what in your business with your ideal customer can you do to promote these things? So maybe you sell baskets and that is gonna be one of the examples here in a few minutes, but maybe you sell baskets in your shop and you sell them all year long, but right now you focus on how you can organize with your baskets, right? Maybe later in the year you focus on how they make great home decor pieces. Maybe later in the year you focus on how they're perfect for making a gift basket. But in January, we're gonna focus Focus on how they're perfect for organizing your space and we can talk about different spaces that they're good for organizing we can do a list of like 10 spaces that they're good for organizing you want to take what you sell and make it applicable and raise the quality of life for your ideal customer in the current season of life that they're in 
So then I have an example for you. It says, if you want to make a post about a healthy recipe, take a picture of your food on a pretty plate on a placemat that you sell in your shop. So one of the pattern suggestions for this month are placemats that go like under your plates. You're talking about the food. You're talking about a healthy new recipe that you found. You're talking about staying healthy in 2023, your personal goals, things that you're gonna be trying to do. You're becoming relatable to your ideal customer, letting them get to know the person behind the brand a little bit. And you have a picture of the thing that you sell. You're not saying buy my thing. You're not saying look at this pretty placemat. You're talking about something that's seasonally appropriate in front of mind to your ideal customer while discreetly showing them a picture of your finished piece. Then we have this little section right here that is encouraging you to purchase a new planner for this quarter. Each of the planners in my shop are designed specifically for crochet business owners. I will pop a card or a link to a planner walkthrough video that I have live on my YouTube channel. These are designed specifically for you. These, there was a lot of trial and error to design. I probably made 25 different types of things. I did digital, I did on my iPad, I did where I printed them off, I did where I drew actual planners, I tried bullet journaling, happy journals, the business boutique planner, focus planner, like I literally tried so many different things until I finally just designed my own and now they are able to be printed through Amazon KDP and they feel just like this calendar. So the same cover, they're just six by nine instead of eight by 11. Um, but now's a good time to buy one for the first quarter of the year if you haven't already. So you can go at setting plans in motion, start breaking down some of the things that we're gonna talk about on this side and planning them on your to-do lists ahead of time on this side. So if you know that you want to celebrate National Compliments Day, maybe on the 22nd or like maybe the 20th on your in your planner, in this planner, you're gonna write down prepare content for Compliments Day on the 24th because you only got you don't want to have to wait to the last minute, right? So that's going to help you do that. Now's a good time to buy this planner. And I have a, a lot of different designs in my shop and I plan on adding more throughout the year. So keep an eye out for those as well. After that, we move to the pattern suggestion section. And here are just a few pattern suggestions of free crochet patterns you can find on my blog to help you show up in January and serve your ideal customer with things that are front of mind for them. So crafty facial rounds, that's speaking to the self-care, right? Maybe your ideal customer wears makeup or washes their face every day. I wash my face every day, but I don't wear makeup. And I use my crafty facial rounds to rinse my face so I don't get water all over myself my bathroom, my dogs, like everywhere. It, it really, really helps with washing your face and rinsing the soap off because I just use my little pad instead of splashing water all over God's green earth. Then we have nesting baskets. We've already talked about that. They're perfect for organizing. You can organize your office. You can organize your dorm. You can organize your kitchen. You can organize your living room. Whatever's important to your ideal customer. We can play room. You can put little knickknacks for different types of toys. Like whatever's important to her, show her how your baskets can help her this month, this season, raise her quality of life. Hanging baskets, same deal. That would be really good for dorm rooms because they have very little space. So if they have a pegboard, they can hang their baskets and they can put their things in the hanging baskets. Show different ways to use the hanging baskets. Maybe you show them that they can use them to hold their mail like the mail that they need to go through or their outgoing mail, which most people don't have outgoing mail, just business owners like us. Uh, maybe you use their hanging baskets to hold their pencils. Maybe you use the hanging baskets to hold their collection of stickers that they don't wanna put on anything because then they'll be stuck there forever. Like whatever is important to your ideal customer, something that you know that they probably have a lot of, they could put in their hanging basket. So for my ideal customer of fellow business owners, it could be outgoing mail because if you ship things in envelopes like stickers, and you have a lot of outgoing mail, you can organize them in a hanging basket and make your space look super cute while being organized. Crafty boho bag holders, that helps you store your plastic bags. So if you live in a city or a country that still uses plastic bags, we have them here in Kentucky. You can use them, use this product as a way to help them store them so they're not all over the place. Also bonus, it adds like a boho flare to their decor. A placemat we talked about. Hanging dish towels are a great way to get organized because you, instead of having an ugly towel, just an ugly random towel out on your kitchen taking space and cluttering, you will have a design towel specifically to match your 
decor in your kitchen hanging in one place where you can always get to it. So it's going to save them time because they're not scrambling around the kitchen trying to find their one ugly, ugly towel. It's going to make their space more organized, which is going to give them more mental health peace, right? And it's going to be more efficient because their brain is going to immediately know where the towel is when they have something on their hands. So these are all these things that you can do to promote the hanging basket towels. The essential oil roller keychain is really good for self care this year because you can give them like a roller blend for stress relieving, a roller blend for feeling happy, a roller blend for helping you sleep, a roller blend for headaches, whatever it is that your ideal customer is usually struggling with. If they're a teacher or a mom, maybe the stress roller blend would be really good. If they're super athletic, maybe the headache one would be really good. So think about what it is your ideal customer is struggling with or could be struggling with. If essential oils are not their thing, don't even worry about it. You can also use these holders to hold chapstick and other stuff. So you can market it to fit the needs of your ideal customer if you need to. And then we have a bookmark. A lot of people decide to start reading books at the beginning of the year. And that's one of their goals is I wanna to try to read four books this year. And you could promote your bookmarks as a, almost like you know when people start a goal to start drinking more water, they buy themselves a pretty water bottle. Kind of the same thing, a pretty bookmark to help them stick to their goal of reading however many books this year. And all these are available on my blog and you can get to them via clicking them through the QR code if you are looking at the printed version. Next, we have this month's action step. It says January is a great time to clean up things in your business and get yourself organized for the year. Spend some time this month going through the calendar, this calendar, and planning some seasonally appropriate emails for the year. Don't have an email list yet? Now is a perfect time to start one. So what I would do, I would go through this month like we're doing right now in January, and if you get a brainstorm idea of an email that you could send out to your people, like 10 ways to organize your home with baskets, right? That would be a good email. You can jot it down either in the notes section here or the full notes page on the back. That way you don't forget, and that way when you need to plan your emails, you know, oh, I have a list of ideas for January emails. Let me go look at my list, and then I can plan them now. But if you you don't have an email list yet now is a perfect time to start one there's no better time than at the beginning of a new year to start anything with your ideal customer but especially an email list this is the most important thing you can do for your business if you have an online business like an Etsy shop and social media like if you are not a local brick and mortar this is the most important thing you can do. It is also extremely important for local brick and mortars. I just don't know if I would call it the most important because I don't have a local brick and mortar. So I'm not in that genre of small businesses. But for an online business with an online shop, this is the most important thing you can do for your business. It's more important than social media by a thousand percent. If you do not have an email list, Make it your quarterly goal for quarter one to create an email list and start serving your ideal customer through email marketing. You will see more sales. You will see a closer relationship with your customers. You will see growth. Do this, put it top of your list, top of your priority list. Um, also, this is a video that will help you. So if you're looking at the digital version, you can click on that. It will take you to a YouTube video, just like this one that you're watching right here. We'll talk to you more about email list building. And there's like three or four videos already there for you to help you you know, start this, do this, get it done, son. Then we have our up next section. It's gonna tell you what is coming up after January. So coming up in February, it says next month, people are going to start thinking Valentine's Day, the pre-planning ways you can promote your products for Valentine's Day. Serve your ideal customer related to Valentine's Day and start making things now in January that you think will be good sellers. And then there's a little tidbit here that says Crochet Boss Academy opens next month. So you can go ahead and start mentally preparing physically saving to get excited for Crochet Boss Academy. Now let's move on to the calendar portion. If we look down here in this section, you see this month is National Book Month, National Hobby Month. Oh, there's a typo, ugh. I'll fix that, I'll fix that. National Get Organized Month, Weight Loss Awareness Month, Girl Scout Cookie Season, holla. National Oatmeal Month, National Soup Month, I do love some soup. National Slow Cooking Month and Dry January. I think there are some typos. So this will be fixed by the time you're watching this video. That I promise you. I'm so sorry. So if any of these stand out to you as something that you think your idle customer would be celebrating or interested in hearing about, be making a mental note of ways that you can promote them. If it's National Book Month and you think your ideal customer is a reader or would plan on like wanting to try to start reading this year, 
you could talk about books. If your ideal customer is a Christian, you can talk about devotionals. If your ideal customer is a mom trying to help their kid learn how to read, you could talk about some good kids book suggestions. So be sure to make it ideal customer specific and that's gonna help it go further towards your level of success. Then we're gonna look at all the different social media holidays and actual holidays. So we're gonna start with New Year's Day. Yay, happy New Year's. You've probably already celebrated that by the time you're watching this video. So we're going to move on. That's all we've got for the first week of January. January 9th is clean off your desk day. This is a great one for every crochet business owner to celebrate if you have a desk because you can set your phone up on a tripod, set it onto time lapse, and take a video of you cleaning off your desk. If you don't want to be in the video, set it overhead. So the, the phone is showing your desk just like my phone is showing my table right now. And just set up a time lapse and then you clean it and you're moving everything, you're wiping, and it, it's gonna look really cool. And you can post it as a reel, as a TikTok. You can post it on Pinterest if you wanted to, like if you're promoting something in the video, like a basket, if you sell baskets things like that. This would be a really good one to promote because this is be getting people to know you a little bit more as the person behind the brand, right? So even if your ideal customer doesn't have a desk, you can introduce yourself, let them know a little bit more about you so they can emotionally engage with you because they see you as a person instead of a mythical internet being. This is a great way to do that and it's really super easy because you would also benefit greatly from cleaning off your desk and starting the new year fresh with a new clean desk. I think this one will be great for most of us to do. Then on the 14th, we have National Dress Up Your Pet Day. How fun, how fun would that be? If your ideal customer has pets, this would be a fun one to do. Or you can also use it if you have pets as a way to be more relatable to your ideal customer. You can say, hey, I'm Ashley, I have two dogs. These are my two dogs, aren't they the cutest things that you've ever seen? It lets people know that you are a real human. But if your ideal customer has pets, or even if you sell pet specific things like bandanas, sweaters, hats, bone stockings, if you sell pet specific things and you are a pet specific brand, this is definitely a social media holiday you want to celebrate. So mentally prepare a way that you can dress up your pet. Like even if you just wrap one of your scarves around them, I think that would be a really cute thing that you could do. Um, also, it would be a really funny video because if they're anything like my dogs, they're not gonna want that scarf on them, so it might be funny. Then on the 16th, you have Martin Luther King Jr. Day. On the 19th is National Popcorn Day. And then also National Get to Know Your Customers Day. That's a really good, there's a lot of those. I think there's probably four. So one for each quarter. But these are really good for Instagram posts because you can put out like a question like a question situation. Hey, today is National Get to Know Your Customers Day. I'd love to get to know more about you. And then ask them something specific. What is your routine for starting a new year? Like what is the top of your to-do list when you're starting a new year and getting ready for the new year in January? Like what are you doing this month to make your year go more smoothly. For me, I like to collect a bunch of healthy recipes that I can use all year long to try to start cooking more healthy dinners for my family. That's what I would do, something specific, and then you answer it, and then encourage them to answer it in the comments. Don't get discouraged if people do not answer right away. You have to give the type of interactions that you want to get. So you need to be posting in your ideal customer's posts. So if someone follows you, take a look at their Instagram, Go comment on some of their questions, on some of their posts, like some of them, be engaging. People will not engage with you if you don't show them that this is the type of behavior you participate in on social media. So don't get discouraged. Also keep showing up so you blow up, okay? Respond to every comment, create conversations, answer your DMs, encourage people to send you DMs. This is gonna start cultivating the behavior of engagement on your platform. So that's a really good one to use. My tip is to be specific. Don't just say, tell me something about yourself because they're gonna be like, no thanks. And, or they're gonna it's gonna take too much energy to try to think about it. But if you make it something very specific, their brain is going to naturally answer the question the moment they read it, right? So be specific and that will help you. National Popcorn Day, maybe you share a fun popcorn recipe, maybe you sell fake food and you've got a fake popcorn one and you wanna talk about how fake food is awesome for teaching kids, things like that. You can use National Popcorn Day to do that. 
Then we got National Cheese Lovers Day, similar stuff to National Popcorn Day. We've got Chinese New Year, so you can look that up if it's applicable to your ideal customer or you, your business as a brand. Definitely celebrate that one. National Compliments Day, super easy. Today's National Compliments Day. Leave some emojis in the comments below and I will go leave a compliment on one of your most recent posts. So easy, such a good way to get engagement. National Green Juice Day is a really good one to celebrate if your ideal customer is focusing on getting healthy. Maybe you talk about a recipe. Maybe you talk about Panera's green smoothie that you like, something like that. Maybe you sell coffee cup sleeves, right? And it would also fit on the sleeve of a Panera smoothie. And maybe you take a picture of you drinking a green passion smoothie from Panera, but you've got one of your cozies wrapped around the cup, right? Then you're talking about, hey, it's National Green Juice Day, but you're showing them a picture of the cozy without saying, hey, go buy my cozy. Then at the end of this month, you can fill out your tracker to see all the things that you've had going on this month and a space to write down any notes about things that you wanna make sure that you do this month or brain dump any ideas that came up to your head while we were going over this. Then on the next page, we have a blank page on this side for notes. And then this side is more pattern suggestions slash content ideas. So we're gonna go through each one of these and look at the different ways that you can promote these to your ideal customer in the month of January. So the first one is the plastic bag organizer. All of these are free crochet patterns on my blog and you can get to them by scanning this QR code here, then all the pictures will be clickable. Um, and we've already talked about a lot of these, so I, I won't talk about all of them if I've already talked about them, because that's just gonna be a waste of everybody's time, but I will if I get a new idea. First off is the plastic bag holder. But remember to keep it ideal customer specific. So if your ideal customer is a college student and they're going into a dorm, this is tiny, it hangs, it doesn't take any space, it doesn't take any cabinet space, any counter space, Nothing like that. It's cute. It adds a pop of color to your room. Also, you can use plastic bags as trash can bags in their bathroom or to put like their wet stuff in if they're swimming or anything like that. Their dirty clothes can go in there until they get back to their, like if they have a communal bathroom, they can use the bag to carry their stuff back and forth or they can use the bag to take things home with them. Like they can use these bags all year long, right? Think of different ways you can use these bags. If it's raining outside and they need to walk to class, they can put one of these bags over their textbook so the textbook doesn't get wet, right? You can be very specific and I would post a different idea for a different Instagram post. So if you've got four ideas, I would make four different Instagram posts and then an email that says four ways to use this bag holder in your dorm room, right? An email with all four and four different Instagram posts. That's what I would do. We're gonna work smarter, not harder this year. That's what we're gonna do in 2023. Then we've got the nesting baskets. Again, think about your ideal customer. If your ideal customer is a mom and she's got little kids, talk about how she can organize all their little manipulatives with these different size baskets. This pattern comes with three, small, medium, and large. They're perfect for holding anything that you wanna put in them. I use mine all the time. I've got them all up in my craft room. I've got them all over my house. They're gorgeous. They're also really pretty as like plant baskets, right? If you had a plant about this size, this one is obviously way too small, but if it fit, they're, they're gorgeous to hug around your plants to add a pop of color and a little bit of life. So that's one way that you could promote these if your ideal customer is a plant mom. And then organization is gonna be top of mind for everybody. So think about how a basket could organize an important space in your ideal customer's mind and serve them through social media with those ideas. It's still cold in a lot of places. So Claire Bun Beanies made this list. This is my best selling beanie. It has been my best selling beanie since either December 2017 or December 2018. It will always be my best my best selling pattern and my best selling beanie. If you do not have these in your shop, but you think your ideal customer would like them, I would encourage you to give it a try because they might just blow up for you. Here's a picture of the hanging dish towels that I mentioned earlier to give them cute, but functional and mental health security of not having dirty rags around your kitchen because that just stresses you out. Like you might not realize why you're stressed, but mentally, if you see that type of clutter, it, some of us bodies don't respond well to that. So decluttering can be such a huge mental health boost, right? So think about who your ideal customer is and why they would need this. If it's a teacher, maybe they would put one in their, at their desk in their classroom. Maybe instead of doing a heart, you could do like a little apple if you know how to change a grid or something like that. I think you could use these towels for a ton of different people 
depending upon who they are and what's important to them. Then we have a bookmark. We've already talked about how people might be planning on reading more in 2023. You could also take pictures of books that you're trying to read this year with the bookmark in the picture without saying buy my bookmark. You can say, hey, one of my resolutions is to read four books this year. These are the four I'm thinking of, or this is the current book that I'm reading and open a page and put the bookmark and take a picture of it or close the book and have the bookmark sticking out the top and take a picture of it in one of your brand colors, right? That would be ideal. You're talking about yourself, letting them get to know you as a human, but you're sharing a picture of the bookmark. That's that's when the gold happens, okay? That's, that's what, talking about your things without saying go buy my things. We've got crafty facial rounds, which are perfect. We talked about for rinsing your face, wiping off your makeup. If you wear a lot of makeup, it's good to, well, I like to wipe my makeup off before I add soap because if I just like soap it up, it gets really messy. These are made with blanket yarn, so they're 100% polyester. They're machine washable and dryable. I use mine every day. I have about 20 in my drawer because sometimes I'd use like two a day. Also, sometimes I use them to wipe out my sink. If my sink is starting to get nasty, I grab one of my things, I wipe out my sink and I throw it in the hamper because it's very low maintenance, very easy to use. Next up, we've got the essential oils roller. Oh, I haven't even been reading this. Crafty facial rounds are great to promote as part of self-care routine. A fun new bookmark can be a way of showing self-love. Cute hanging dish towels are perfect for cleaning up the kitchen. I give you all these little tidbits here. Essential oils are a super great way to show self-love. This keychain will help you help your customers keep their most used rollers handy and easily accessible. So if your ideal customer is a college student, show how they can hook on their backpack. If your ideal customer is a teacher, show them how they can hook on their whatever they use to carry their schoolwork back and forth. If your ideal customer is a mom, hook it on the diaper bag. If she's a mom of older kids, hook it on her purse. Hook it on her little purse backpack. Hook it on her kid's backpack. If her kid is going to public school and you wanna give them a roller to help them stay calm and focused throughout the day, they can hook it on their kid's backpack. Focus on who your ideal customer is, where she would need or use essential oils and show her without giving her something to, to like have to, to ponder on. Make it as easy as possible, a very quick decision. Yes, that is something I could do that would raise my quality of life. I mentioned earlier, you can put other things inside this keychain. It doesn't have to be essential oil rollers. So if you wanted to make one and just like look around your house and think about things that's important to your ideal customer that she could put in there, you could market it that way to her. We talked about hanging baskets, love those, perfect. And last but not least, you might not think to promote these in January, but you can because they're a form of self-love and that is adding some some squishy squishy soft warm love to your feet so crafty boho slippers are a great form of self-care now that you won't you won't have cold feet anymore you'll look cute with your pjs your husband and you can match your kids and you can match whatever important to your ideal customer you can promote slippers for her in that way we also have the bunny slipper pattern which is live on my blog and now the christmas slipper pattern which is live on my blog which is just with a faux fur trim around the ankle, so that doesn't necessarily have to be Christmassy. If your ideal customer is into faux fur trim, you could do pink with gray trim. That's not Christmassy, you know what I mean? So all of those patterns are live and free on my blog as well. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you like this kind of content and you want more videos showing you how to run your crochet business in 2023. Stay tuned because next month I will be posting another video to help you run your crochet business in February and we will be doing this once a month for the entire year of 2023. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single video and I will see you in a little bit. Bye for now.